Morajo! Welcome, Welcome to, to Rwanda! Rwanda. Yeah, you already on video, so I already started. Oh, you started? <laughs> I mean, it's okay. Well, you can just go ahead. Yeah. Because I, I, I told you, I'm just going to ask you whatever comes to mind. All so, right. as y'all can see, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this isn't uh, scripted. <laughs> I think so. This is the next door property, by the way. All right. Yeah, we can go ahead down to the end so we'll be in the shade. And this is... Uh, the apartments where they're staying. They were staying at my house for two weeks up on the mountains, but then we decided, well, they decided to come in town for their last two weeks. All right, y'all ready for the hard questions? Of course. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, y'all want to sit? Yeah, I'll sit out here. All right. So I'm going to start. I'm not going to say your name, I'm going to let you introduce yourself. What is your name? Oh, my name is Sabrina. All right, and you? Uh, my name is Claude, or you can call me Avaram. <laughs> All right, so how y'all enjoying y'all trip so far? Oh, man, it's, it's, it's been a blast, man. You know, Rwanda is uh, very mountainous, man. It's very beautiful. The only downside ab about Rwanda is that's not being able to speak to Rwanda. <laughs> yes. yeah, so so y'all back home, y'all know that you should take a little... Uh, video course before you come here so you know <laughs> oh, yeah, the language. Yeah. We should have took like um, some what, some dual lingo or something. You know, just, yes. So keep it wanted. I didn't know practically like 99% of the population doesn't speak English, man. So, yes. Yeah. Either that or they don't let you know they speak English. <laughs> <laughs> One or the other. Yeah. I need, I need body. <laughs> yeah. So how are you enjoying it? Yeah, I'm, it's like breathtaking. I mean, I knew it was going to be a good experience, but I mean, it's just, it, it's better than I could have ever imagined. Just being here on the, for the first time on the continent, my feet stepping on the, on the, the soil of Africa, it's just, it's just been a beautiful, beautiful experience. Interacting with the people, just, you know, it's just, it's just been incredible. Really, really, really nice experience interacting with people. And do you feel safe here? Oh, oh, I yes. feel more safe We feel here more than safe I, than we do in the States. Than in the States, and, and the funny thing is when people call you, they always oh, say, be safe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we tell the people in the States, you need to be safe. You need to have a gun. Like, it's yeah, some of so my safer, um, friends have reached out to me like, oh, be safe. You're in Africa, be safe. And I tell them, actually, I'm more safe here and I feel more safe here than I've ever felt my entire life living in the U.S. I feel All very, right. very safe here. I mean, security's everywhere. Police officers everywhere. People are very helpful, and um, if, if anywhere, like if I have a question, people go the extra mile to help me. So definitely, feel very secure. I feel very safe here, oh, and yeah. um, in Rwanda. Yeah. All right. You want to add on anything? Um, yeah. The, as what you said, um, the people in Rwanda are very friendly, um, despite the language barrier. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, they they try to make an attempt to help you. Yeah. Yes. The people here yeah, in Rwanda are very true. friendly and. They have, you know, great security, and the president's doing a great job. I'm not going to say right. I think we all know who we're talking about. So would either one of y'all or both of y'all, would y'all do a second trip here? Oh, yeah, yes, definitely. Yeah, definitely. definitely. We're definitely yes, anticipating. Yes. And my hubby's right around the corner yeah, here. He oh, just walked yeah. up. Miss Togo is walking away as usual. Come on back here. <laughs> Welcome right. to Kigali. <laughs> You want to have a, a seat little, with them? A little or? of milk and honey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want to have a seat or you want to stand? Or? Okay. 
I strongly recommend that everyone come and visit. Come yeah. and visit, and you will see for yourself. All right. And can I also add that they are originally from Haiti? So th this feels a little bit like home, doesn't yeah. it? Yes, yes, yes. But actually, yeah. we feel more safe here in Wanda than we do in Haiti. Yeah. Oh, okay. Haiti right yeah. now is. Um, yes. Yeah, definitely. In a dark, in a very as much dark as we place. love Haiti yeah. and stuff like that, there's a lot of uh, insecurity. A lot of people are not yeah. traveling to Haiti because of the insecurity and lack of safety. So when we came to Rwanda, especially in Kigali, that was the first thing that we noticed mm. was how secure the country was. Not just in the airport, but just everywhere. There's so much yes. security and safety. And the country is very, very clean. I love that about it. Very, uh, very cleaner than the U.S. in my opinion. Yes. And I lived in a, we lived in a kind of middle, um, uh, middle to upper very middle class clean neighborhood. And very safe yeah. also. You, you feel like you can walk yeah. anywhere, anytime. Which yeah. you can, yes. Yeah. And there's security. The police is at every mm -hmm. two, three Almost. blocks yep. away from each other. <laughs> And uh, we've been here a week already. Couple, you know, a couple of weeks. About two weeks. weeks. About two weeks yeah. And we haven't. Uh, and even at nighttime, uh, we've walked. any mm -hmm. wrongdoing whatsoever. Yeah. Mm. Oh, and yeah. at nighttime, we've walked at nighttime too, and it's very mm. secure. And, mm. and the temperature, oh my goodness. Yeah, the, the, climate. Yeah, the climate. <laughs> the climate is perfect because um, Rwanda's not too hot and it's not too cold because we're up in the mountains and the weather here is very temperate. So. Um, it, it's perfect weather. I mean, coming from Florida, where it's just super hot, you kind of want to be in a, you <laughs> yeah. be in, you know, uh, a country that has, you know, a, more more of a, you know, more of a balanced weather. Yeah, but, yes. yeah. And we just came from being up in the mountains, breath breathtaking, oh being man. up in the mountains in Kanyinya, which is part of Kalagali. Oh my goodness, beautiful, breathtaking. I have so many pictures. My camera, <laughs> my camera can't even pick up all the beautiful pictures. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we really, we really enjoy Kigali. We definitely would return back to Rwanda second time. Oh, yeah, Rwanda yeah. is, uh, even though it's a third, uh, third world country, it's a very progressive country and many foreigners are coming here. Yeah. Um, so Rwanda, I see Rwanda is, is, is most likely going to be the, um, you know, the heart of Africa and it's definitely, you know, their goal is to be the next Singapore. And, you know, I, even though it's still thorough, they still have a bright future. So, for all the young people who want, I think you guys should stay here, man. Yeah, so. yeah, we love it here. We love it. All to right. be honest, I don't even want to go back to the U.S. Go I'm back to what? I'm embarrassed to say that I don't even want to go back to the U.S. Uh, go back to trinkets? <laughs> uh, I, just, I really don't have a desire. Again, my husband was like, man, I don't yeah, want to go back. It's so qu quiet and calm. And, He's you know, you know, noise and whatsoever yeah, it's, it's a very this, it's a country with a great great promise yeah. exactly yeah, very peaceful the infrastructure yeah. is there mm -hmm. water 24 7 mm -hmm. electricity yeah that reminds me yeah because how, how, how many how many times how many times did electric walk while you was at my house no, 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 yeah no, 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 <laughs> exactly no, 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 yeah people say how often yeah but that's because yeah, you're on the hilltop. Yeah, up in but the mountains, some yeah. some people say, how often do your electricity go off? I said, my I've electricity. Never had it all. Yeah. I haven't had it the go only, off. The only problem we have in, in country, I would strongly encourage anyone who who have in mind to visit, hmm. try to learn somewhere somewhere yeah, with the local yeah. because. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is very important to know a few words. Of yes. Yeah, Good the morning. Local, the local hello. Yes. Yeah, yeah and they the appreciate people, that, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. exactly. Although people, some people speak English, but not <laughs> not a lot, not yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah. 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 especially, the, the especially the when you get away from Kigali. Yes. Yeah. 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 So guys, yeah, the official language may be English and Swahili. Got well, there's a lot of people here that say they speak French, when you, and then when you ask them, they don't speak French. There's a lot of people here that say they speak English. So for anybody who wants to visit Rwanda, just learn there. Learn, yeah. learn yeah. Rwanda. That's, that's it. That's the that's all you need to learn. Yeah, because you know they say, yeah, they say, oh, they speak Swahili, they speak no, uh, French, that, they speak this, that. I say, no, you need to learn their language because yeah, you in wonder. their country. Exactly. <laughs> so you exactly. don't want to come speaking English or French or and whatever. They appreciate it, but yeah. they see that you're making the effort, effort. to, the locals, to, yeah, to yeah. communicate with them in their language. Yes, yes exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. If, was there anything else y'all y'all want to say anything to your friends or family back home? Um, or? I definitely. Um, go, please go to Africa and stop watching the television. <laughs> <laughs> you guys keep saying, "Oh, be safe in Africa, guys." This is the land full of milk and honey. There, there's, you know, you can assure that your safety is secured, guys. But there's, let, let's let's break let's break this ignorance. Of, <laughs> yeah, don't uh, listen to yeah. all the yeah. negative, uh, you know, com uh, negative. Uh, 
Uh, come and see. Yes, yeah, uh, you have to see it for yourself. Yeah, right? come and see for yourself. <laughs> I have a lot of burden. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I guarantee you, you're gonna like it. You're gonna enjoy exactly. it. Exactly. Yes. Like yeah, we definitely. Are yeah, this is our first right. time for all three of us, our family, visiting the continent. I definitely would suggest anybody, like my son said, turn off the TV, book your ticket, and just come to Africa. Come mm. to Rwanda, whatever country you choose to visit, and experience it. Come and experience the continent for yourself. Mm. So we've had a really good experience. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Is it that, that was it? You had oh, anything to wow. say to your That's all I'm saying. You had anything for your friends or family you want to say hello uh, to or shout out? Uh, as they say? Uh, shout out, um, Mr. Tyreek Nichols. Uh, the guy who is Tyreek? Um, <laughs> Mr. Tyreek, yeah. oh, aka, AKA uh, Ty, not Tyreek. Ty. Uh, Mr. <laughs> well, that's Nichols. Fine. Uh, shout out to Mr. Nichols. Uh, <laughs> You know, I'm just, I'm just joking. It's oh, <laughs> shout out to Mr. Nichols. He, 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 um, he allowed us to stay in one of his properties. So if you guys ever want to um, go, go to Rwanda, you may be asking yourself. I don't know anyone there. Uh, reach out to him, and he'll notify you. He'll, he'll tell you about Kigali. You can probably find you a rental proper, rental property to stay in. So. Shout out to Mr. Nichols, Mrs. Nichols, and uh, <laughs> which is, of course, she's hiding as usual. Yeah, but I'm okay. gonna catch her off guard downstairs. And I say shout out to my mom and to my um, okay. dad, and my family. Okay. All right. Would you been you or y'all we been you? I would even say more, more bail. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Jack has one more, or is it Jack or Jacques? Jacques. Jacques, sorry about that. Mr. Jacques yeah, has one more thing to add. One more thing that I want to add is, is as far as Kigali is concerned, Kigali Wanda, it's like there's always something unexpected. When you think you have seen everything and then you turn around and within the 15 minutes of distance and you see something that that takes your breath away you know the landscape is fabulous fabulous mm, it is very it beautiful is, i cannot describe it yep Please, so see for yourself exactly then you'll you'll see what i'm talking about exactly all right see you friends thank bye. you bye, bye. Uh, I caught you. Here goes Miss Togo try to hide from the camera, but I caught her anyway. You want to say hi? Hi, everybody. Hi, family, friends, everywhere from the world. Hello. Hi. All right, that's Miss Togo caught off guard again. Sous-titrage